been caught on camera and the video is jaw-dropping. A fight breaks out right in the heart of Ybor City. A man gets run over as a guy plows his car right into a building. It raises the question, is Ybor City safe? Paul Mueller joins us live in Ybor City tonight. And Paul, is this isolated or does this show a troubling trend? Well, many people think the streets here in the entertainment district are full of crime. Not so, says Tampa police. It's way, way down, and they have the numbers to back that up. Fist fly, punches thrown, and then the car becomes a lethal weapon. Hitting a guy, then plowing into the bad monkey bar. The video, dramatic, and so too is the crime rate. Down this year by a whopping 40%. Just the fact that it's down, I think, is very encouraging. Tampa police say the drop in crime is due in part to teamwork. Cops working hand-in-hand -hand with bars and businesses. It takes both. To, uh, to, to make an impact like that. I think people need to give the area a chance. Tom Mueller is with the Crisis Center of Tampa Bay, which just launched an anti-violence program here in Ybor. He says many people just don't have the facts straight. Not enough people are aware of the crime statistics and how far down they are mm -hmm. and how minor most of the crimes are. The reaction from the crowd on the street tonight is mixed. Ybor City, crime free or crime ridden? A little of both, depending on the night that you're coming in. I'd say Ebor's probably got a bit of a rap for crime. When it comes to a bad rap, just ask the owner of the bad monkey. You have rowdies that come out and look for a fight, and we hate that. People giving his place bad online reviews that Ebor's a dangerous place. He says nothing could be further from the truth. You can live, work, and play in this area as well as you can anywhere else. And when they talk about that dramatic drop, they're talking about violent crimes like robbery, grand theft auto, as well as sex crimes. So some pretty serious business, Jen. Well, Paul, can we talk for a second a little bit more about that incident with the car into sure. the building? Do we know where the suspect is? Do we know if he intentionally aims the car at the victim? What do we know at this point? Well, we do know that police are still trying to figure it all out. They say they do know who the suspect is, even though he is still on the run. How did they know who it is? Well, he left one big piece of evidence behind, and that was his car lodged right into that bar. Jen. That's a heck of a clue. Paul Mueller, live in Ybor City. Thank you, Paul.